<laughs> Rich is here. Comically early. Com we are, we're here. We're early. We're ready to go. Uh, instead of uh, late night Jack solo stream, we have a normal stream. Yeah. How crazy is that? Plans get changed around. It's it's a it's a, a modern world, and we are modern girls. No, we are living <laughs> in a modern. No, it. We material world. Material we world, are not a modern. Living in a material, material world. world, and I am a material girl. I'll right. Let, I'll let you sing that part. I, well, yeah, of course, you, you can let you me to, sing. You that. get to sing that. Those part. are just the correct <laughs> words, Rich. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm being uh, I'm being faithful to the source material. Well, um, oh, it was the animals that did House of the Rising Sun, right? They changed sure. they changed the lyrics. Oh, did they? Yeah, they did a. a it's a, a song a sung from the perspective of a woman. Lord knows I'm one. I, uh, they they changed the pronouns. I think it's about a girl who ends up in a whorehouse. Is I believe what the song is originally about. House of the Rising Sun? Yeah. Is it? I, I guess I don't know the lyrics to House of the Rising Sun. Oh. You know what? Let's um let's uh say thank you to Mario Mario before uh, I turn on the Twatcher, which I forgot to turn on. Oh no, you turned it on. Look at that. Look at that. Rich is on it. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Hello, good morning. We, um, okay, so this game I'm a little obsessed with. I'll be honest with you. Oh, good! So what is this game? Let's give the introductory materials here, Jax. People might not know what the fuck is going on. Alright, you are man in bucket. Oh, okay, hold on, we gotta, we gotta do some... You... Oh, who made this game? Uh, Bennett Foddy made this game, who is, uh, most well known for making co-op. Co-op. Which is the the um, long jump game, or the technically the the hurdles and long jump at the end of it, right? With the awkward control scheme. Yes, and this game also has an awkward control scheme. You control the tip of the hammer. The tip of the hammer. If you see, and so then you you the only way you can move is by moving the tip of the hammer, and your man in the bucket follows along. That's the whole game. Okay. And you have to climb a mountain. <laughs> and I am a. I, I started playing this the other day just because I, I'll check see what the game is about. Let's make sure it's something we could stream. Yeah. And I became utterly obsessed with it. Good. Uh, it has actually a phone version, which plays <laughs> shockingly well. It has a version for the iPhone and iPad that plays shockingly well because I bought it for there too because I've been enjoying it. Is it actually easier because you can touch where you want the thing to go? Uh, no, it's it's like you control it anywhere. So, like, you don't want to touch it where it is because um, it's not a one-to-one -one thing. Okay, okay. It's not a one-to-one -one thing. Mm. And he, already, like, the, the mouse sensitivity, I need to change no a little bit. more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you want some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you Why got your you best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Nice. Starting over is harder than I've, I've played this part. If you're not ready for that, uh, like if a you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. So I, I know this part. Oh, crap. Fairly well. But as you see, like... Thanks for coming with me on this trip. Oh. I'll understand Let's if you listen to, to Bennett. Break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress always. Even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazua a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Nope, no, 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 no. You have to be really careful because you can push yourself away really easily. This is a little like... Uh... What was that? What was that other Stanley Parable game? 
the follow up. Oh, the uh, the beginner's guide. The be this, this is a little beginner guide. Well, but the, whereas the beginner audio. guide was just a story, this is oh sh yeah, this is more game than story. I'm sorry, the audios reminded me of that narration. Yes, uh, agreed. <gasps> Whoa. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, it's, it's just so much happening in the world. Oh, the mouse sensitivity isn't perfect yet. <laughs> this is this is the only thing that matters in this game is that mouse sensitivity because like you, f you find your flow, you know? Shit! Oh, what was that? Just a lot of progress. <laughs> deep frustration. A real <laughs> <laughs> that was me changing my mouse sensitivity. Maybe, maybe your mouse sensitivity was fine the way it was, Jack. It's fine. <laughs> right? There we go. How bizarre. It's, there we go. It's very compelling, this game. Whoa. You almost fucked up big time. Sure did. Come on, get up there. There we go. It's very, very compelling. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built yeah. almost entirely out of bound and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. Nope. <gasps> That's fine. Your task That's is simply That's to drag fine. yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward this. progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing nope. everything. Perfect. This is exactly what I want. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod no, and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach nope, nope, and your strength, nope, 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 trying to find a way up fine, and over. That's fine. And there's a sense that's of fine. truth in that lack of compromise. Ah. Most obstacles in video game worlds are <laughs> fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, Every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking. What the hell am I seeing? You are seeing getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Nope, 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 nope. Chat, you're you're not seeing any potential edged weapons because everything is an edged weapon. Uh, there's no there's no potential. Do you guys see the pointy end of this hammer? That's an edged weapon. That's an edged weapon. What if the pot breaks open and it has a sharp edge to it? I was I was at the hardware store today, and. Uh, I saw the the key the fake key knives from Surviving Edge Weapons. They were selling them. I was so excited. <laughs> it's a key that's like a switchblade in disguise. At the hardware store? At the hardware store. They're selling it at the hardware store, Jack. That's great. Nope, nope, nope. Not that way. Not that way. There the we obstacles go. in sexy hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating <laughs> game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already oh, felt like my idea. inability to get past a new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. So there's probably a speed run of this game that's just going to make you feel ashamed, isn't there? That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. <laughs> do you, do you, do you, if, you're, if you listen to the dialogue, which is really important if you're, if you're playing this game, you have to listen to the things he's saying. The whole, the whole meta-narrative of this game is, you know, the, the journey doesn't matter, or the destination doesn't matter as much as the journey. And it's not about how many times you fail, Rich. It's about how many times you get back up. It's freaking beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, that's going to slide off, isn't it? Nope. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Whew. All right. Now, this is a really tricky part. We're going to have, probably have to mess with the mouse sensitivity a little bit. When you're building a video game yeah. world, you're building with ideas. Nope. And that can be like working with quick sets. Nope. You mold your ideas. <laughs> <laughs> and in the process of playing with them, you begin to hide ah, set until they're in oh. Like, you have to be so point, precise you with your world. movement. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new nope. ideas. Nope. 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 Come on. Come on. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. No. Damn it. <laughs> this game. This game is total arty farty bullshit. And that is why... It, I, it, I love it. It is also totally from the makers of Quop. Yes. But whereas Quop was just like a, a a fun little experiment, I feel like this game has something to actually say. Oh, here we go. That was it. Oh, no, that's all right. Nope, no, 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 no. Settle down, settle down. Like knowing when to fling yourself and knowing when to like slow your movement down. Nope. Is like really key to this game. I, I really admire this guy's upper body strength. Right? <laughs> like, what do you think he does? <laughs> I bet it's a lot of body weight fitness. Well, obviously, he does push ups in a, a metal bucket, you know? Like. No, 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 no. Everything's fine. Nice save. Nice. No, well, you're not saved yet. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You're not saved yet. No, no. Son of a bitch. No, nor am I. Did I? I didn't tell you. Uh, I, I accidentally went to church this week. Um, two questions. Yeah. How does one accidentally go to church? Uh, I'll, I'll explain. Okay. I'll explain. This this actually started like a month ago. Uh, there We were just driving down the road with Karen. There was a billboard for a, a play. Oh, okay. It was local. Uh, and God bless everyone. And uh, it built itself as a, a Christmas Carol sequel. Oh. A story about Tiny Tim. They're going to be playing this at Christmas time. Oh, okay, okay. And um, Karen wanted to go see play. She's like, yeah, well, let's go see it. I'm like, all right, all right. I didn't, I didn't think about it too much. And uh, the play was this week. Okay. And the day of, I actually kind of forgot about it. Karen reminded me. She's like, we're going to that play tonight. I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, yeah, we're going to the play. We're going to the play. And I found out tickets were free. And I'm like, well, that's that's odd. Sure. It's but, odd that tickets are free. But, you know, community theater. Oh, yeah, well, community yeah, yeah. theater, but community theater. But there was, a, like, a large fucking billboard. And I saw ads other places, too, for huh. this. I'm like, well, it's weird that this is free, they, especially because they've been advertising this. Okay, sure, sure. And, uh, and then I find out, because, uh, like, this is Karen's idea. She wanted to go. I didn't, I haven't been paying, like, hardly any attention to this uh -huh. whole thing. And then I found out, oh, it's at a church. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. It's, they're doing it at a church. Okay. And then we go there, and, uh, oh, my God, this place is fucking gigantic. It's a, a mega church. Oh, one of those. One of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this was a fucking complex. Uh, you, you walk into the lobby of this place. It's just a fucking church, but it's like the lobby, giant glass windows, three stories tall. Um, there's like a cafeteria with seating for like a hundred or more people. Oh just yeah, a, just like a, a, a luncheon area, and this gigantically long hallway that led to the actual uh, church area where they're having the play. Oh man, it's like this place was comically large, and. Um, I get there, the play starts, and it's, it's a, it's a, the play itself, a little bit Jesus-y. Uh-huh. Christian this, Christian that, we're good Christian folks, Christian, Christian. <laughs> All like, right. Okay. okay. And then they have the intermission, and then the, you know, the play starts back up after the intermission, and then, like, weirdly, not, not like when the intermission started, but ten minutes after, like, the, the, not the second act, but just the play had resumed after the intermission, yeah. the pastor walks out, he starts giving a full-on sermon. Wait, like during the play? Like the, no, like the play stopped. <laughs> <laughs> like the, 
like like ten minutes after it had started again, and the pastor walks out and, and talks about yeah, people had cool. regrets, you but Jesus can fill those just regrets you in your life. And just open your heart, and it was this whole spiel, and he went on for like ten or fifteen minutes. Really? Yeah. Interesting. This is how we're gonna get butts in the seats. Uh, they they passed out the collection pit plates. Of course. As, uh, you, as you do. Oh, of course, of course. As you do. Uh, they they had people in the aisles handing out you know these envelope things. You know, sign your name and pledge your life to Jesus. And then and then the play went on. <laughs> the I I was the the last part of the play, like the last act. I was just sitting there with my mouth agape because I. I couldn't believe the sheer gall. All right, uh, Tiny Tim is trying to save the the local uh, uh, clinic that that helps the poor people, but the greedy people have s bought the clinic through shady means. And the solution to the problem in the play was the whole community together, whole community of poor people, yeah. had to take up a collection to give money to a corrupt rich person. And I'm like, really? You're in this giant mega church. Do you not? Do you not see? No, of course not. Can you not see the parallels here? That's great. <laughs> That's great, Rich. <laughs> like, this place cost multiple oh, millions of dollars. Keep on oh. trying. Don't let it get to you. I saw in the chat someone was asking. How many people walked out? Did you notice anyone like just straight up walk out? Not that many, but I noticed uh, some people didn't come back for the intermission. <laughs> like I noticed the row, the row that I, me and Karen were the, was like the hardest hit. Like after the intermission, we were the only two people in our row. Really? But that was, that was not, that was the exception to the rule. I did notice some people had left like the parking lot afterwards. I saw missing cars. Sure. <laughs> that oh, I mean that's crazy. It's uh, but like you kind of have to appreciate their uh, ingenuity, right? Like <laughs> we gotta get you know people don't want to come to church. We know that. So how do we just get them here? Uh, I know. Let's put on a play. Right. So I definitely like I like that. I like that they're thinking outside the box. Still no 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 no. Still shady. Just, just this this building that cost multiple millions of dollars, and you know they get all their money from people. You know the collection play. That's how churches operate. I just the gall, the end of that play, the resolution to the problem was for all the poor people to give up all of their money yep. to the rich people to get the clinic back. Uh huh. Really? You can't you can't see? No, because that's the that's they wanna <laughs> they wanna indoctrinate the lesson. Right. Just give us your money, right. and we'll do good with it. Right. <laughs> I think that's great. That's great, Rich. That's funny. Nope. Nope. I think my sensitivity might be too high. Did I give to the collection plate? I I felt like I, I should have paid for the play. Okay. After the fact, I kind of regretted it because then I realized, well, the people who are actually in the play, they're probably not going to see any of this. It's all going to go... To the pastor. The that we call so I kind of regretted it after the dead, fact. But the staying down. Yeah. Mary Pickford. <laughs> but at the time, I was thinking, well, they did put on a free play. <laughs> oh sure. Well, yeah. And like, you want to make sure that you, you know, you you get, you know, you're hoping at least that some of the money goes to the people who. Yeah. Did did the work to put on the play. Nope, 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 nope. Gosh, dang it. And at the time they drew, put out the collection plates, that was before he actually did the sermon. So that might have swayed me. You know, at that oh, point, yeah. But they, they did the collection, the collection plate at, right at the intermission because they probably figured that some people would just leave. That's some gall, though, is like... Like, the, the utter gall of just stopping the play to do church. <laughs> yeah! 
Like, come on, man, you gotta hide that shit. <laughs> You, 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 you disguise that in the play, is right. what you do. Exactly. When you were walking out, I'm sure people were handing out pamphlets. So they did that before we walked out. That was during, after, you know, during the sermon, where we got some people at the end of the aisles, they have some literature, whatnot. Yeah. And you know what? That's to be expected. I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah, come come to church, see the free play, and then you know what? We're going we're gonna to sell you a little bit. It's going to be a soft sell, but you got the hard sell. Yeah. You got you yeah. got the pause the play, yeah. church time. I was, I was just, I thought was, no such thing as a free lunch. <laughs> well, yeah, but for them to be so brazen, a, no, 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 no. <laughs> You know, I, I have no problem with them, like, you know, passing out pamphlets, maybe maybe putting some messaging in the play, but stopping the play. No, 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 no. no. Pamphlets for adults and pamphlets for kids. Oh, wow. wow. I grab one of each. I haven't gotten around to you yet. I'm just curious to check it out. Like, how, what is the sleaze going on here? Is there, is there sleaze? Is there a lot of sleaze? There's no sleaze. I mean, it's probably all, you know, just normal stuff. Like, you know, community and bettering your life. And, uh, you know, the word of Jesus can help. No, 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 no. That's all normal Jesus-y stuff, I'm sure. How long was the sermon? I, I was tuning out during it. You know, I wasn't. I wasn't uh, paying rapt attention. Uh, yeah. Ten minutes. Oh, okay. You know, that's not so. Bad. Fifteen. No, it wasn't a full-on hour right. church session with communion. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> and songs. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ten minutes. Still though, like. That's something that should be like, okay, now, if anyone wants to stick around after the play, we're going to do a quick mass. You know, that would be an appropriate thing. It's fairly, you know, production value-wise, fairly decent. But that place has money to spare. Oh, yeah. Those mega churches are something else, man. Those mega churches are something else. You know, like, I grew up Catholic. So, you know, we, uh, I've, been to, I've been to a lot of Catholic churches, but those, like... With the with the big screens and the sound system and the full band, like I've, yeah. have you, I don't know if you've ever been to like any of those services, but it is a gosh dang production. <laughs> like there's like people on switchboards in the back and music and lights right. and stuff. It's like wow, this is amazing. It's a lot of money. A lot of money to be made. <clears throat> Can you do it? Can you do it? I did it once before. <clears throat> no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. This one is really tricky because, like, this you, is the first fucking one. What first area? Is there more? Is there multiple maps, or is it just one long way up? There's just one long way up. Ow. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and there's a lot of places that you fall all the way back down. <laughs> and I've been there. <laughs> but I figured, like, you know, I practiced a little bit because I wanted to, you know, make sure I got a little bit far for for the stream. So, like, this area I've been to before. Here we go, here we go. No. Shit, 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 shit. The soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. <sighs> this, John Vance Cheney. this mouse is something, something else. Oh, we have the wire We have the other mouse, yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not, I'm not blaming the mouse, but I'm also blaming the mouse. Here, let's go. I'm totally blaming the mouse. Is what is what I'm doing. All right, something to note about this mouse? Yeah. Here, that's a sensitivity button. You should change the sensitivity. Oh. Rapidly. Interesting. Yeah. We can do this. 
And yes, of course, this game is made by the person who did Quop. <laughs> nope! It's alright. True Blue Review says, Hey guys, just to get this out of the way, did you see the Game Awards, or at least the highlights from it? The new Death Stranding trailer and the A Way Out guy shouting, Fuck the Oscars, are amazing. The pain I, feel now is the I have not. I had before. You know, That's I haven't either, because I don't care about stuff like that. Um, uh, I know everyone and their mother is talking about out that Death Stranding trailer, but it's like, we know already. We know what it's going to be. Was there any gameplay? Uh, I don't believe so. Yeah. I, I, I think it's just more weirdness. I so don't give a shit. Right? I don't give any shits. Like, I'm not even curious. Yeah. Wait till wait till we know what the game is going to be. Then I'll start commenting. Um, no, 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 no. I heard a lot of people were shitting on EA. Uh, yes. Which, you know, that's obviously nice. <clears throat> How do you feel about there possibly being anti-microtransaction laws? I, you know, or at least loot crates. I, I saw that. Was it a, a state or was it a, a, a European Hawaii. country? Well, I think there's some European countries that are having discussions about this too. But I know there's a congressperson from Hawaii that's going, you know, whole hog. Oh yeah, well, and they're they're kind of lumping it in with their gambling laws, which it's not inaccurate well that's the thing and you know like this reminds me a lot of in-app purchases back in the you know when when ipads were becoming big and yeah. like oh you give your kid the ipad to play a game on it but there's sneaky in-app yeah. purchases and you remember those stories of like kids racking up multi-thousand dollar bills without even knowing yeah and it's kind you know it feels very similar to that i don't know it's it's a whole. It's a whole lot of. I don't know though. Oh shit! You pay money for the chance for a thing that's different for paying money for a thing. I agree. Well, mm. let alone loot crates. I've I've never been a fan of DLC. When I buy a game, I want to buy the whole game. I don't want to buy pieces of it later. <laughs> right. So I'm I'm super hardcore. I'm not even I, I don't even like DLC. Nope. What about those vending machines with the random things you get in an egg? Does that you can make that argument? I don't think those are a, 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 as big a potential problem as the loot crates are because, you know, games are big business. I don't think uh, grocery store egg plastic toy machines are a big problem in society. <laughs> you know, Chuck E. Cheese is a popular place. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. But I don't think it's that popular, you know. It's not a multi-million dollar or billion dollar, a multi-billion dollar industry like video games are. Witcher 3 is the only thing that's done DLC right of late. A bunch of free shot and two giant expansions, one of which having more content than many full releases. Well, here's the thing. I I trust C CD Projekt Red. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other... Uh, well, I was going to say devs, but I guess publishers that I... I don't trust them to have uh, the consumer's best interest at heart. Right. Hmm. Nope. I know they're trying to suck my blood. Yes. I have I have a little bit more trust in CD Projekt Red. It's pronounced Project. Said the Project. Project. It's whatever. Whatever. I don't give a shit about that. It looks like Project. <laughs> And we're American, so suck it. So we kind of do what we want pronunciation-wise, and you guys all have to deal with that. That's just uh, that's just the way. DLC and loot boxes aren't really the same problem. One of these things directly led into the other. It was an evolution. Well, we can fuck people by, by holding out parts of the game and charging them for it later. 
hey, that's working out really well. Let's let's be even more seedy and we'll <laughs> have microtransactions. They'll be buying stuff all the time now. You know, you're not. It's cancer that grew out of the other cancer. Not necessarily wrong. And, you know, well, it's all well-intentioned cancer. Like, oh, hey, we could, no, we could make, well. No, it wasn't DLC. This is the fucking end game from the get-go. Oh, I don't know if that was, if, you know. From the moment downloadable content became a thing, EA, EA mentioned microtransactions being the future, like, like fucking eight years ago. I, th I think there was a time in which DLC was considered a bonus. Like, eh, a little, a little I was bit the only extra. one who saw through that shit. That was a load of horse shit. That that was a bonus. You get a little, That's how they uh, sold it. Yeah, you get a little bit extra. But that was bullshit. That was how they sold it. Well, what was the first DLC? Chat, this is my question for you. Shit. Like, are we talking like World of Warcraft? Well, Horse Armor is the for first famous one. Horse Armor? Was that a Bioware game? Was that, was that one of the... No. What's Horse Armor? They sold armor for a horse. It was like... Just it was just very unexciting, but it was like I forgot what it was nine bucks, five bucks, something stupid for horse armor. For armor for your horse it was Oblivion. It was Oblivion. Okay. And you got armor for your horse. Yeah. All right. You were nowhere near that rock, you dick! Every time I change the sensitivity, my hammer does crazy things. Did Mass Effect 2 have the first DLC that was already on the disc? I'm not sure about that. I want someone link me to a, an article or a, a video about the history of DLC. I'm ac I'm actually really curious about that. Someone has had to compile like the f that is the first would Rich be too honest to succeed in the games journalism industry? Yes. Yes. And we're back here. Huh? We're just right back here. Yeah. We're getting there. <laughs> this 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 little tunnel here is a is a really tricky area. This little tunnel here. So it, it actually gets easier, huh? Uh for a little bit. And then and then uh there's actually whoosh, shit. There's a there's an area it gets a, a, a lot easier after this tunnel, and then there's an area that I actually have not... Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. At what point is this not fun? Uh, I don't know. I haven't hit that yet. <laughs> I am I'm super into it. I get it, man. I just... I get it. I get all of it. Looks like Bloodborne 2 is being teased. Is there anything you would like to see in it? Bloodborne 2. <laughs> yeah. I would like to see more Bloodborne in it. I, I there, don't know what to say. And we have no guarantee that's Bloodborne 2. From Software did a little, like, teaser. And they showed, like, a bloody gear or something. Like, we have no clue what game they are making. Nope, nope, nope. A bloody gear? Maybe they're doing a Gears of War game. Oh. They're going to throw everybody off. <laughs> there was, like, a bloody rope or something. Yeah, it was... Oh. No, 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 no. No. I feel within me a peace above all earthly dignities, a still and quiet conscience. William Shakespeare. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. This is the down this is the downside of also playing this on my phone. Yeah. Is I've gotten very used to touch controls. Okay. And uh I started playing this on the computer, and then I was enjoying myself so much as uh, I saw that he also had a, 
a version for iOS. And I was like, ooh, this would be a great, a great, no. oh, fuck. Which, which film series would you like to see have a Groundhog Day style installment? Um, Star Wars is already a thing. Because it's the same the thing force, over and yeah, over again. No, yeah, that's, yeah. that's good. I, good. Just, so those things. <laughs> I just want to make sure other people got it because that was a really <laughs> clever joke. <laughs> and I just didn't want that to fall on the deaf ears, the deaf ears of the people, you know? <clears throat> you cannot now believe that you will ever feel better. But this is not true. You're sure to be happy again. And knowing this, truly believing it, will make you less miserable now. Abraham Lincoln. <clears throat> All right. So, so this invisible string says. Yep, invisible strings. Given the way nothing but trouble ended, what kind of sequel do you think Aykroyd had in mind? The judge has a second contraption house in the city? I don't... Did he have a sequel in mind? I don't know that he did... No, I actually I don't think he did have a sequel in mind. I think I think I think he what he had was like a, more of a movie in mind, and that's just what he could make. I think he wanted nothing but trouble to be bigger than it was. God damn it, Rich! Why won't you wildly speculate? We're, on what? I don't know. Bloodborne, I guess. Oh. Uh, I really want to see a monster with with three heads and a a giant sword. Boom! Done. Great. Wait, the monster has a giant sword, or we have a giant sword? Well, both Gra things oh, great. would have giant swords. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And then a giant axe forms out of the monster's head. Yes. And swings around. Yes. There you go. Oh, that's good speculation, man. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know what you want. I'm sorry. I don't know what I can do with that. I think that's literally what they wanted. <clears throat> what about Doom 2 Hell on Earth again? Well, the, I I won't be shocked if the next Doom takes place on Earth. They'll, they'll do their Hell on Earth. The reboot Hell on Earth. Sure. That's fine. That's just a setting. Yeah. Got back there. Got back there, Rich. Look at that. All right. We can do this. Fuck. This game looks like it is covering up crappy game design with arty farty bullshit. I think it's deliberately crappy game design, though. Like I said, <laughs> this is the guy who made Quop. The point of which was awkward controls. That's like saying, like, you know, Octodad is just making up for its awkward controls by putting a funny octopus right. on it. Like, no, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> that is the point. It's a gimmick. It is. And it's the point. Oh, I, I, this. Uh, and I, I can completely see just someone hating this game. This is one of those, it's one of those games. Like, yeah. if you read the Steam description for this game, Ben and Fadi says, like, I made this game for a certain type of person to hurt them. Like, <laughs> this is not a game for every, oh, yeah, oh, no, okay, 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 okay. Settle down now, settle down now, settle down now. Okay, okay, okay. Game of the Year predictions? It's it's just going to be Doom again. Doom didn't come out this year. As a matter, I don't care about these arbitrary game awards. Best of the year, whatever. It's it's just going to be Breath of the Wild. Everything is going to be Breath of the Wild. Nope, 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 nope. Every 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 uh, Breath of the Wild is going to win a lot is my prediction. Come on. 
what did it's like I feel like the left right sensitivity is more in tuned than the uh the up down. Does that make sense? Do Rich and Jack really think highly of Breath of the Wild themselves? I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I like Breath of the Wild. It's not my favorite game of all time, but it's just good. I like the open world. I like the, the go anywhere aspect to it. Uh, it. Like if hard pressed for a game of the year, like that's probably what I would choose. I, I appreciated that there weren't invisible walls everywhere. Yeah. What are you doing Get over here? Combat could have been better, but no, they did a lot of things right. Combat could have been better, could have had some better dungeons, but positives outweigh the minuses. Yeah, uh, totally. And I like I think I had more minuses than you in general, but... Uh, but yeah, totally, I totally agree. For years ah. now, people have been ah. predicting that games would soon be made with <laughs> fabricated <laughs> objects. <laughs> <laughs> and assembled into a world. Ah. And for the most part, that hasn't happened. Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform cord. into garbage. What else came out this year? context of technology, uh, Horizon. I'll put Breath of the Wild over Horizon. Yeah, you know what I would too, and I liked Horizon. Nope. Um, what else came out this year? Ooh, ooh. Don't get, don't get too crazy. You don't want to fall off of this thing. No, no. This this uh, has a nice wide thing to land on. All right. And like you kind of have to like this one, you have to like whoop, hoist yourself up like that to get to the next thing. I've done this before. I've gotten past this already. There we go. Like that. Like Over time, oh. we've poured more and more refuse into this vast. You guys tried Dead Souls yet? Oh, Dead Souls, we have. It's great. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh. And Dead Souls? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That was fun. I can't wait for them to finish it. Us is cultural trash. That I had a lot of fun with that. I, and uh, like I had so much fun with that. I I decided to not play it so I could wait until they were done. But only trash it. culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. So, if game of the year means something to you? I, I don't know. I guess Breath of the Wild didn't have that much competition. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of other games. Is. All right, this is a, a tricky monstrous part. mountain of trash. The ash there we go. There we go. fountain, a landfill with everything we ever thought of in it, grand, infinite. I'm assuming and this I'm is sorry. not an area you want to fall from. Uh, it's this part over this here that's really tricky. Gen X's fanfic novels, scan magazines, green screen hey, Shia LaBeouf, fan stuff up. scenes on Live League, <laughs> Facebook's got Life Is there? I don't know. Like, I, and, and I have fucked shots it up. Of so. Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed gifs, Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten. He's, he's just like giving us some beat poetry right now and I love <laughs> it. <laughs> Everything's fresh for about six seconds until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing so into the pile, any... out of oh, style. In this gap, yeah. there's a small thing to catch you. But this is as far as I've gotten in the game. Okay. This is it. I've gotten this far. This is, this is it. And uh, so everything else will be new. And by the way, yes, he just said gift, referring to making a gif of something. So he, this game loses like a lot of points because he pronounces it gif. Look, here's... I'm going to weigh in on GIF GIF. Are you? I personally would prefer to call it a, a, a GIF. Yeah. But the fucking person who created it calls it a GIF. And I can't fault somebody for calling it a GIF. Sure. See that was the little that was the little thing that catches you if you if you make a mistake and so there's like a tiny little catch. Nope, 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 nope. But if I if I fall here, it's a long fall. Especially because the G and give us for graphic. Graphic, yes. Right, I agree. But person who created the 
the gif or the jif calls it a jif. Uh, yes. So he named the fucking thing. It's what it's called. Nope. 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 So if somebody else wants to call it a jif, I'm not going to give them shit. I think you know we, we all we all have to like take a stand somewhere <laughs> on these controversial <laughs> subjects. Okay. And that's that's where I'm taking my stand. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Come on. Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. You can get in there. Squeeze your body in there. Squeeze your body in there, please. I think you're gonna have to flick and catch. No, no, no. No, no, no you got it. Now this, like I said, I've never got this. Is this sitting on this rake is mm. the highest I've ever gotten. <laughs> On the mountain, right? Yeah. I have no idea what's up here. GIF sounds better, but I've always thought GIF was more appropriate because it's like Jiffy, i.e. quick. No, but it's it's a graphic image. It has nothing to do with being quick. Right? G is for graphic. Fuck. Oh, oh, good. Okay, I can take that. This happens every once in a while, like a little song plays if you mess up. Pretender says, do either of you have a fear of heights? Don't most people? That's innate from our monkey days, right? It's <laughs> <laughs> that, snakes, spiders. Oh. It's not crippling, but yeah, I mean, I don't like heights. It's a quick little video, Rich. And back in the day, it was like the only video. <laughs> well, also, guys, a, a GIF it, it, doesn't have to be a moving picture. A GIF is also just an image format. It doesn't, yeah. like, a GIF doesn't have to be a moving picture. It's just a, uh, it's just a, uh, a way to encode your picture file. But animated GIFs predate streaming video. Yes. So, so like, this would be a video format that's quick. No, it's just we can do video with this. Isn't that neat? Yeah. And back in the day, they weren't quick. Let me tell you, in the, in the 56K days, that shit took forever to load. Right. Nope, no, 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 Will Jack give up after he inevitably falls down that pit? <clears throat> you guys need William? to know something. This is a game that was made specifically for me. And I think that this is one of those arty farty games that does the gameplay enough right, where <laughs> I am so <laughs> locked into it. This, this is the Dark Souls of arty farty rich, where, okay. you know, you get one shot to do it right. But the, the mechanic I understand so much, I'm really... I'm really into this. Why did you do that quick? Oh my god. Because Can't you just ease yourself down on that slide? I could, but I like I need to, you know, it's... A... No, 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 that wasn't me, that wasn't me, that wasn't me. Well, sure it is, I can see it. Ugh. No, I mean, well, like, so, you know, sometimes the mouse has a... It feels <laughs> like it has a mind of its own. Not just your mouse, like just the mouse in general. It feels like the the axe or the hammer moves with a mind of its own. Right, so Zachus Two says, "Hey Jack and Rich, missed out in your previous streams, and I missed my monthly tips. So here's a little extra to make up for it. Oh, thank you, and spread some holiday cheer. Much appreciated. Much appreciated." Jack would appreciate it too, but he's. he's I appreciate he's, it, and uh, welcome back. He's, he's on the edge of a cliff. 
Welcome back. <laughs> Fighting for dear life. Falling off of this thing is where it gets It'd be terrible. If I sneezed while you're trying to do some of this, wouldn't it? It's, uh, you know, I'm I'm hoping that I would be able to handle it. Don't you fucking do it! No. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous says, speaking of nothing but trouble, the hosts of last podcast on the left are petitioning to raise the Rotten Tomato score from 8% to 22%. Is it good enough to deserve that score? Uh, sure. Look, it's a shitty score <laughs> however you slice it. Right? But I'll say yeah. I'll say it's worth the 22%. I don't know. I, I you know, I, I get it. I, I mean, I get it. Can I? Favorite podcast? Uh, it's been so long since I've listened to any podcast. Yeah. The last one I listened to was the Hardcore History one. I'm listening to... Uh, which I really enjoy. Norm, Norm McDonald's one a bit. Is that technically a podcast or just like an internet streaming show? Both. Norm McDonald Live? I guess it's a little both. Taking it easy. Oh, I bet I'm going to have to jump over there to those boxes. All these fucks. I don't trust those boxes, Jack. I can't. There's no way I can climb up these. Uh, this slide, I don't think. Shit! 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 Everything's fine. So you're gonna have to launch yourself over to those boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> It's tempting to make friends. <laughs> yeah. Why make something demanding? If it just gets piled up in the landfill. Filed in. First try. <laughs> First try. First try. <laughs> That's what we call some elite gaming. Oh, fuck, where do they're, I go now? They're saying that was clutch. <clears throat> I bet I have to go up? Or do I go down? I don't. Probably up. Hold on, I got, I'm going to do some exploring. No, down's going to probably land you on top of that area you came from. Right, that's why i, I got to do some exploring here. Hold on. Oh, no, I think i got to go to that. Are you sure? Well, then we're going. Yep. I, sl I slipped off. I slipped off. I think this is where I have to go. Yep, this is it. This is it. This is what I'm supposed to do. This stupid fucking game. I love it. I don't know that I like that there are floating boxes. Well, listen. No, 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 no. Settle down. Settle down. Oh, my God. Nope. Oh, I gotta... Fuck. Why are you going fast? You don't always have a choice. Do oh. not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Mary That's alright. That's alright. We're not. We're not all the way down. We can. We can stand with being here. Nope. 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 Swedish AI says. Hey guys. Hi. Bought Friday the 13th game on Black Friday sale. Great. I suck at it. Okay. But would have sucked more without watching your streams of it. Oh, well, there you go. Suck at driving, and you hardly ever get the chance to practice. A lot of people don't like driving, and before escaping, they'll ask if anybody wants to drive. <laughs> always, always volunteer to get your practice in. Even if you suck, volunteer. Nope, nope, nope. <clears throat> you know, and and we what we've learned, you know, from seeing Rich's amazing driving ability <laughs> is like a good driver can make the difference between fuck, 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 fuck. 
Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Can make the difference between, you know, a good run and a bad run. There we go. There we go. Everything's fine. Life or death? Yeah. Yeah. Like you get you get someone who knows what they're doing behind the wheel and and you're you're the hero. Oh yeah, that's a great feeling. They nerfed Jason in the latest patch. Eh. I haven't played it in a while anyway. Nope, 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 nope. Fuck you, game. Is it mandatory for a good driver to run over other counselors with zero remorse? Only if they're deliberately getting in the way of your car because they want to ride. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, you know? Sometimes I've, I've had people try to force their way into the car, and you, know, you can't tolerate that shit. Yeah. When, when you're driving, you're the boss. You're the captain. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, you got you to gotta make the tough calls that not everyone's willing to make. Uh, nope. Fuck, 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 fuck. <gasps> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I, I had somebody once. Yeah. I was playing a game and I had the keys. This other guy wanted to drive. And uh, they, they were toting around a shotgun. This is before this is before they patched out being able to kill other players. Uh -huh. And I did not trust this person. I smelled they were a troll and they were going to take the car and abandon everybody or drive it into the lake or, you know, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So I just blatantly lied. So, oh, yeah, I'll drop the keys by the car. And then I got in the car. But as I was getting in the car, yeah. he was shooting. He shot at me with the shotgun. I was, I was safe in the car. It didn't it was I guess in vulnerability while you're right. getting into the car, whatever the fuck it was. But yeah, I, I saw that coming. Dick. What a dick. Mm. Nope, nope. Stop it. <gasps> to live is to suffer. To survive, <laughs> 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 it hurts, doesn't it, Jack? Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>